Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nimedata, you know, bro. You know, you know is what we do it here at Top in Africa. KUTV is the station, man. Remember, always, every Friday from 4.30 to 6.30, we do it in the best way. And today, we have that one of Kijana. I'm a same my pains in the way, bro. It's a good one, man. Fitty, man. It's a fitty. What's up with my pains? Okay, me believe love do enough enough on your go round. Because at the end of the day, so not after peso go na family mzuri ama. spot. But it's true, man. It's true. It's true. It's true. So what's your name? Official name now? Stage name? Me akupali. Me na ito Broderick Asiago. That's my official government name mm-hmm. but my stage name is superboy why why now uh, thank you man <laughs> thank you thank you why why do you guys always put boy honestly uh ukiangalia for example story of bana boy yeah he's always wanted to be a superhero okay. that's his backstory okay yeah so for me the the reason why i added boy to my name is yeah. i wanted to represent my community okay kama ulifanya history mm-hmm. kuna this minority group known as the abasuba ndiangu so, i think you jina you jina tu ni ni self explanatory ah, ah okay <laughs> yeah so so ukasema you know what i'm that guy from that community that is not well known i'm coming here to be a hero yes for you i'm coming to represent you yes. and here i am yes. super boy yes See, so One point. After the show. <laughs> After the show, lazima. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm officially not saying it. <laughs> <laughs> so when when was the first time you you knew this is what I want to do for life? Honestly, it started at a very tender age. Mm-hmm. Uh, I remember I used to go to the bathroom and try and emulate what uh, the legendary Michael Jackson used to do Whoa. like dance and uh, break dance and, and stuff do, yeah and do all those moon walkings uh-huh. and try and pop and uh-huh. lock you mm-hmm. know so yeah i knew from the start, of course ah, uh, thank you uh, accidents Pamoja. accidents are part of the journey bro <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> yeah so yeah I, i i started knowing that music was my thing at a very tender age mm-hmm. then when i went to high school uh, mm-hmm. i met a group of people and we just started to, to vibe mm-hmm. and normally every year we used to go to all the way to the nationals because of our ensemble it was, wow. it was just crazy so that's when i knew hey mm-hmm. this is the thing this is something i want to do for the rest of my life okay yeah. and, and is, is the group still intact or you just know uh, okay some people ventured into some other things mm-hmm. but still music related okay like for example one of those people is my cousin known as abh mm-hmm. I think you've heard some of his music. Yeah, before. we have we have interacted. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's one of the people that I really bonded with in terms of music. Okay. Yeah. Wow, wow. And um now you, you what what are the things that came with you knowing this is what I want at an early age you knew this is what I want to do as music and what and how was your parents? you know african parents as always hi ripi hi ripi haina pesa that's that's usually part of uh-huh. every artist story mm-hmm. when they start from the beginning not mm-hmm. unless you come from a very musical family or a very artistic family mm-hmm. from the start it's usually a very big struggle to tell people this is what i want to do because mm-hmm. i think coming from a traditional family mm-hmm. what do not believe eh unafa kukuwa engineer lawyer or lawyer kwa daktari mm-hmm. you have to do some blue collar white collar jobs mm-hmm. f- to, for you to survive mm-hmm. but then they forget that from an early age unajua mm-hmm. ukisha kuwa msanii it's a calling it's something you cannot run away from yeah true true, true. sometimes you try and do all this mm-hmm. uh, office jobs and you're like ah, this is not for me it's not for you because you're a creative person yeah, yeah and when you're employed they don't employ you to be creative they employ you to follow the rules exactly ah. so that's when you have to break that mm-hmm. cycle Okay. Yeah. So you you most of your song that have interacted with is love songs. Yes. And you say that love, you know you don't believe if the world would exist without love. Yeah. So what exactly which what what is that one thing that you did that this uh, made you decide, you know what? I don't want to do gospel music, I don't want to do urban music, I just want to do love song. So okay, uh, originally when I started doing music, mm-hmm. uh, I I was drawn by the hip hop culture. Okay. So obviously at least <laughs> at some point in time one or, one or two people are influenced by the True, hip culture. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So as I developed mm-hmm. into a man mm-hmm. 
my voice did not develop as well mm. with that harsh oh, you know because you know hip hop you have to look, yeah that's you have to look man. gangster and a yeah. sound gangster to yeah. be a hip hop artist mm-hmm. so when i started rapping and my voice was a bit mellow and you know hapo kidogo producer anaanza kukuambia sds songs hapo zina kushika eh una check so yeah it becomes a bit of a struggle so i just had to learn to accept myself yeah uh, and be like yeah I, i think i'll just do african but a bit of love songs okay yeah but that's not the only thing i'm doing right now okay because i'm working on an album mm-hmm. and there's going to be some dance all there there's going to be some hip hop mm-hmm. there's going to be a lot of genres mixed afrobeat mm-hmm. a bit of a piano as mm-hmm. well yeah mm-hmm. yeah the biggest stage you've ever performed at uh that would be nairobi festival oh nice uh, i think that was the year before i think or last year mm-hmm. yeah Okay. That was one one stage that was really huge for me and a huge stepping stone for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What what what's that one experience that you you've gotten from interacting with other creatives, you being in this industry and now you performing in such big stages? Uh first of all, what people usually notice is the way I dress. And it kind of influences the conversation. Mm-hmm. Cuz if if you're an artist you have to look the part, you know. Yeah, true, true, true. You can't just be an artist and you look like a regular <laughs> you know. Mama mboga sorry to say. Yeah, so you know you have to look the part. Mm-hmm. And then once people are drawn in with how you dress and, uh-huh. and how you handle yourself, yeah. it becomes a good conversation starter. Yeah. And you find yourself just blending with you know creatives. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You've mentioned how you dress. Yeah. Is it something also that you're venturing into which is fashion? Of course. Or ah, of course fashion is definitely one of my strongholds. Okay. But uh not limited to that also. I also do art as well. So I paint. Oh, you paint. Yeah, I'm I am what we call an artist. Ah. Vunitsua <laughs> artist. <laughs> yeah, you know? Uh-huh. Yeah, so yeah. I, I think uh, if it wasn't for art Mm-hmm. I wouldn't be existing. So oh. yeah, I do everything everything I do is artistic. So even you yourself as a form is an art. There was something that oh, had to happen. Man. <laughs> <laughs> come on. <man. laughs> no, let's let's relax. Let's get into that calm mode and yeah. we go we get to your music yeah. relax. Yeah. When what's the story behind relax? The story behind relax is very simple. Mm-hmm. Uh Have you ever gone to the village and you meet someone and you're like you never expected to meet someone like that in the village right mm-hmm. so just because i couldn't shoot the video in the village mm-hmm. i decided to do the video in town mm-hmm. but the influence comes from you know that village love mm-hmm. that fast love you, you know? know the fast love yeah, yeah it's mm-hmm. usually like come on man i just got paid i got <laughs> some money man i want to want to blow it all on you yeah true, so true, come true. relax with me mm-hmm. basically that's the story behind the song oh yeah. okay okay yeah. so it's valentine coming soon <laughs> and uh, it's a relaxing mode. Is there someone who is going to be relaxing with you or uh, uh there's a potential someone so ah, please potential <laughs> potential please go relax with him. Make it easy for me man. Make be it, my wingman. Please don't yo you people you person please relax with him I'm at end Ash Wednesday. <laughs> I'm taking depression this time. But they are talking but then is we show the world in that um <clears throat> This is something that one of the thing that I know you you've interacted with and it's a challenge to you is women. Yeah. Considering you're doing love songs. Yep. So how are you able to handle that? Uh one thing about women is women are usually drawn to people who understand themselves. Yeah. So if you don't understand yourself the first time you interact with a woman they will really break your walls down. Yeah, true. Sure. Really fast. Mm-hmm. So yeah, you have to really understand yourself from mm-hmm. the core. Mm-hmm for you to even just be an artist and make love music mm-hmm. or or love songs for that matter you mm-hmm. have to really understand yourself where you come from yeah. yeah and once you understand where you come from it's easy now to connect with the other gender you know okay because they're usually very sensitive people okay and sisi wanaume we have this knack of being the logi- logical for yeah and being all macho all the time so <laughs> yeah. so when now they f- when they meet someone who's a bit uh, you know mellow mm-hmm. it kind of like it's it's a surprise we to didn't them. expect this from you yeah. okay yeah. so telling you now you and then you're like ah oh, you know what babe na kuleka out chicken egg so like bro I expected you to be uh oh. yeah like, it's usually a plus plus ah it's a plus plus and sometimes plus plus too so plus squared and now if someone want to kuna umesema potential 
to someone who wants to like minister ki potential mimi nataka kuingia direct to the dm anaweza yeah. kupata wapi pale in terms of music in terms of business and uh, in terms of management so my social media handles are instagram is doski underscore four k mm-hmm. on twitter i am as uh, brodoski mm-hmm. or superboy mm-hmm. uh, on youtube i'm as superboy mm-hmm. uh, which other platform is there mm-hmm. tiktok same superboy mm-hmm. um I'm on sound uh, I'm on uh, what is it called SoundCloud mm-hmm. Spotify mm-hmm. iTunes Bombay. all the all the major platforms mm-hmm. we're there So how many songs so far have you So like? far I've only done four songs mm-hmm. one collab mm-hmm. uh, I did one collab with Labala mm-hmm. I think it should be also in your lineup I okay. guess yeah mm-hmm. No nice 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 So yeah and uh, there's also more artists I've collabed with and we're, we're doing an album right now mm-hmm. so probably we're going to release it before the end of the year or probably before media Oh, yeah. nice, nice, nice. Yeah. Relax. Two lines, relax. <laughs> Just two lines. Acha tuone KCSC ulipata nini. Two lines. <laughs> like you want two lines from the song? Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. What's my favorite line out of that song? Mm-hmm. Um, relax and come closer. Put that body in motion. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Kidogo ni ingia box lakini nikakumbuka ni chop in Africa. Anyways, that is super boy for you. Let this guy we wish you all the best and uh, we wish that the people from your community the, which is Abasuba yes. will will see you and see you as a hero and you go there to the community and tell them, you know what? This is what you can do in Nairobi. This is what you can do from that small village of yours and also that big city of yours. This is what you can do and you represent that. Awesome. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that, man. Sit on the pallet to relax kidogo. Hi.